What is up guys? Breakout Sports back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about eBay. Now, before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Now, I bet a lot of you are super familiar with the site eBay. Did you know that it can be used to buy and sell cards? Well, what you might not know is that there's a bunch of supply and demand on the site, and this site serves as probably the biggest 24-hour marketplace in the world. You see, with eBay, you can go ahead and you can bid, and you can go ahead and you can like sell your um, cards, and then you could go and buy, make best offers. There's a bunch of things you can do. I just wanted to talk about eBay for a little bit and my experience with selling. A couple things I wish I knew before starting eBay. I'm gonna just start this out, make a little list and go along. One of them would be that if you are a new seller and you haven't been running for 90 days, a lot or actually almost all of your payments are gonna be put on hold. And this is because you're very new and people don't know yet. I guess eBay does this because they don't want people scamming. So it's a really big deal. They make sure to put a hold on your funds for I believe 21 days. And then after like you've been selling for 90 days, then this is lifted and your funds will be granted to you immediately. But yeah, this is just a safety precaution. One of the ways actually to get around this that I figured out was that if you ship your items and then you track the shipping, um, PayPal will, and I guess eBay as well, will uh, let go of your funds and actually let you access them. Along with eBay putting funds on hold, I want to let you guys know that eBay does take a bit of your um, transactions when you sell something. You see, when you go ahead and you sell on eBay site, they do charge you for that. And it's only for selling, not anybody that's buying, but I believe the fee, do not quote me, is around 10 to 15% of whatever the listing of the item is. For example, if you have something and it sells for $100, and if the fees are 10%, then, then eBay will take their 10%. And I believe PayPal gets a little bit of cut for that too, because they wanna have your um, buyer protection there. So they both work in tandem. But yeah, that's just something to know and to keep in mind when selling cards. For example, if let's say we go and you could sell that card for $100 on eBay, but someone is willing to go ahead and pay you $95 for the card in person. I know it sounds like it wouldn't make sense because you'd be technically getting less money, but definitely go and take the in-person offer of $95. The reason for this is because that after fees, you're gonna only make around $90 on the card that's sold, as opposed to if you took it in person, you would get your funds immediately and you would get a little bit more. So that's something to consider when selling cards. I think that's also a little bit great too, because for the buyers, it, it incentivizes the sellers to go a little bit lower. And they know that um, they can, one, for the buyers, go a little bit lower than the normal market price. And two, the sellers actually make more money, believe it or not, going at that price. So I think that's pretty cool and something I wanted to share with you. All right, guys, that is all for now. Those are the two big things that I wanted to go over, the eBay fees and the fact that eBay will hold some funds on your account sometimes. So you gotta watch out for that. Those two things, those are two things I wish I knew before I started eBay, but I wanted to let you guys know so you would be informed. If you wanna ever go ahead and start up your own eBay store, let me know and feel free to comment down below because I'm more than welcome to answer your questions. All right, guys, that is all for today. Breakout Sports, out.